What's up my loves? My name is Paige. And I'm Ash. And this is Pages with Paige. And today we're going to be doing Twisted Cheese's LTBR. So last month we started a TBR game, which was Twisted Cheese's RTBR. We just used sticky notes to write some different prompts on, and then we spun our little wheel. <laughs> And whatever this landed on, we then got to pick one of the prompts um, correlated. So we had a few rules and we've shaken it up a little bit this time around. So if we get any body part three times, we have to add an extra spin. Yeah. If we get the same body part and color in, in a row, row. Yeah. we have to add an extra spin. But it, if we get it later on in the piece, it doesn't count. And we got some more prompts. <laughs> Uh, so I have 70 or so in my hand and That's Ash has 12. Um, so these are going to go in this little bag. But these ones are our Not Safe for Workathon prompts because during the month of December, Not Safe for Workathon is running. It is running from the 14th to the 31st. And so we've decided to put prompts for it down on the TBR game so we can pick some books to go for that time. Now, understandably, there are 12 prompts, um, but the readathon is only in the third week. So we've got two weeks before then where we can't read those books. These books, yeah. So this is going to be interesting. So I'm quickly just talking through them. We've got stolen book. So that is stealing a book from someone else's TBR or TBR sort of five star prediction, any sort of list to video where they're intending on reading those books. The next is pretty self-explanatory, awful characters, dark cover, seasonal theme. So I made it seasonal because for the um, Not Safe for Workathon, it's a winter themed prompt. So seasonal, we can then use this at any other time and they can just go back in the bag. A romance or smut. I am excited. Dash is not. Not so much. Sparkly or gold or silver on the cover. I've got a few in mind for that one. <laughs> Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. So this is for a read a book by an Australian author or set in Australia. So I wanted to have the two um, just because they go perfectly together. A polyamory or love triangle. Large cast of characters. Coming of age. Anticipated release. And ugly cover. So whoop, these are going to go on our circles. But we need to pick out 10 more to go and fill the rest of the spots. So, these just, in the bag, they just sit in a nice little pile. Um, there is really no rhyme or reason, so I'm just going to give them a shake. Go number one. Oh, no, 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 this is great. What do we get? What do we get? Uh, Book Chamber Fave. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. I like that. All right. So that's one. Go number two. Yellow. Right foot yellow. I could. 
I'm gonna go, wait, 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 straight away. <laughs> Love it. Because I have white mode. Okay, so as you saw, I did what? Uh, right foot yellow, which landed me on Oi Oi Oi, uh, which I picked All Our Shimmering Skies by Trent Dalton. I got a signed copy. It's um, so pretty. Yeah, it's actually gorgeous. And yeah, I'm actually looking forward to getting into this. I'm reading uh, Voice Wireless Universe currently in. November, so it'd be good to follow on with one of Trent's other works. Spin number two. And it is... Let's put your way. Smut. It's gonna be smut or romance. Boy, is that. Sorry for picturing smut and recover. Large house of character. Sorry. And recover. Romance, smut, and large house of character are all, um... Not big work. Not big work. Some of the only reason is because it's sorry for fiction. Uh-huh. Bye. It was my foot, wasn't it? I'm going smut. Like... Straight up. Straight up. I knew it. As you saw, for spin number two, I ended up on left foot yellow and I decided to go with Smut. So this is part of the Not Safe For Workathon. Not all my prompts are part of that, but I will definitely be reading A Worthy Opponent by Katie Roberts, which is book three in the Wicked Villain series, and I'm so excited to get to it. I forgot to put it on last Not Safe For Workathon's TBR, so we're adding it now. Spin number three. Right foot yellow. Oh my god, that's a double. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Because it was right foot feet. No, it was right. Oh my god, you had another spin! Um, historical fiction. Ugly cover, romance, or large house. I'm going historical fiction. You're going historical fiction. I've got a counter full. Alright, so as you saw, I got a right foot yellow again, which gets me another spin. Straight off the bat. Straight off the bat. And for that one, I chose historical fiction. Uh, now, I had my eyes on a book at work uh, called The Tower of Fools by Andres Sapowski, uh, the author of the Witcher series. Uh, it's just come out, it's based during the Hussite Wars, so I'm keen to give it a look and give it a read. All right, spin number four. <laughs> I got right hand green, which I decided to go with Ozzy 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 because <laughs> Ash got oi 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 earlier. And so, this is to um, either read a book by an Australian author or set in Australia. And I've decided to go with, for the third fucking time, putting it on a TBR Iron Lights by Felicity Banks. Uh, this is set in Australia during the gold rush, and Felicity Banks is also Australian. So, really fulfilling that Ozzy Ozzy Ozzy. Spin number five. So as you saw with that one, I landed left hand blue, which gave me a advanced reader's copy. Now for that one, I have chosen an advanced reader's copy I got from work, which was the left-handed booksellers of London. I am half tempted to go with another book though that recently came in, uh, but we'll see if I can snag a copy and no one else has picked it up to read. <laughs> so, so far it's this, I'll let you know if it changes. All right, uh, spin number six. So for spin number six, I got left foot yellow. Um, I had had that before, but because it wasn't one after the other, I didn't have to add an extra prompt. And for that, I picked ugly cover. Um, and I really struggled with this prompt. This one's more in the, it's not horrendous, but it's not a good cover. And so I- Like I wouldn't pick it up if I saw it. Yeah. Sort of thing. And it's I Let You Go by Claire McIntosh. Um, I just, like, I like the colours, but bugs sort of wig me out. Um, and, yeah, it's just not, 
appealing. It's not a pretty cover um, and there's definitely been better. I have no idea what this is about, but one of my friends has wanted me to read it all year or since September or August. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, and I hadn't put it on any TBRs, so I figured I should probably do that by the end of the year. And it's been number seven. <laughs> Sorry, I'm Right hand green. Oh god. <laughs> So I landed on right hand green, which got me a dark cover. Dark. Um, so for that one, I am reading Scott Lynch's The Lies of Locke Lamora. And so Paige bought me this set because she thought I would absolutely love it. And the, the hardcover editions are amazing. I haven't actually read it to know if you will or not. Um, so yeah. Um, that's what I plan on reading, and it, it's a bit a bit chunky, but um, I'm looking forward to it. It sounds really interesting. And I think it's pretty fast-paced. Yeah. Um, I know that the series is called the Gentleman Bastard series. Yes. So I hope that piques your interest. Yeah, alright. Uh, spin number eight. So I landed on right foot red and so immediately I went for anticipated release. I had two options going through this and I knew that the second I had the chance to get my body part over there that was happening. And so I've gone with A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. This is the Al Crate Special Edition um, hardcover and just oh my lord I love it. So this has been one of my most anticipated releases of this year and I do know that April ended up DNFing it. Kara absolutely loves it, so I am both apprehensive and insanely still anticipating this. Also, beautiful. So there's that one. And spin number nine. So I got left hand green and speaking of the devil, uh, sparkly. Uh, so for that one I am picking uh, Brandon Sanderson's Skyward because of all the nice foil framing that it has around it and I've been really looking forward to it because I love Brandon Sanderson's writing so seeing his sci-fi stuff uh, which I haven't usually branched into will be good. Yeah. Cool. Uh, spin number 10. Anthony? Yes. <laughs> Um, like it's directly on the line. Yeah. Oh, I right foot red on. Oh, I got to stand up. My legs are cramping. Look at Yeah. That is on the line. The thing is, if I go right foot red. That's an extra book. Yeah. But, I'm not mad about it. Just how the fuck am I going to get down there? Alright. Oh, what is it? Right hand blue. Oh, right hand blue. That would mean, we think, my right hand. On the blue. Which would be a lot nicer. You do it. So as you saw, that was right on the line. It, I could have gone with right foot red or right hand blue. Um, it was literally right on the line. I decided that there weren't any red prompts that I wanted, so I went with author of color and right hand blue. So this also does mean that I didn't get an extra spin. If I had have gone with right foot red, I would have. But since I went with my right hand, author of color and I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm gonna read Cinderella is Dead by Caitlin Bayron. Like, I said that right, yes. Um, I got this delivered 
this month and I just want to throw my TBR out the window so getting it on this TBR has made me insanely happy and I'm very, very, very excited to pick it up. Um, this was my other anticipated release so depending on what prompts I got they were the two that I was definitely getting on my TBR for that one. So, author of colour, I am done. That's bit number 11. <laughs> So for that one, I got right foot blue, which I had already two right foots right off the start. So that gets me another spin off the bonus spin. But Sorry. I got Booktuber Fave, uh, and I am going with Vicious by V.E. Schwab because I know a lot of people love this series. Even Paige recommended this to me yeah. to be a good one. So that's what I'm picking up on my Booktuber Fave. Really enjoy it. And now I have to do another, another spin and so put spin. more on my TBR. Spin number 12. <laughs> right hand blue. <laughs> oh, my God, get out of there. <laughs> hey, that's how you made sure we're in Indigenous Order. <laughs> <laughs> I think the only one within reach is Indigenous Order. <laughs> wait, wait, TBR prompt is coming of age, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, um... It's not big one, yeah. We did it. We didn't get the same thing again. We were very close. Yeah, if um, Ash had have got another left hand, he would have had to uh, add another spin, but mm -hmm. thankfully not. What did you get? Instead? I got a right hand, which was on blue, uh, which is a coming of age I ended up picking. And for that one, I'm going with the curious incident of the dog in the nighttime uh, by uh, Mark Haddon. Now, I believe the author is autistic, and uh, yeah, I heard a little bit about this and would like to pick it up and have a read of it because, yeah. So, you were scrolling through coming of age novels, and this one popped up, um, yeah. and out of the list, that one was one that you sounded yeah. most intrigued by. Yeah, um, like they didn't have a lot of the classics on there that I was expecting in that list, like, there wasn't the Outsiders wasn't on the list, and um, Looking for Alibrandi wasn't yeah. on that list, and stuff like that. And I was like, mm, this is a bit odd, but when this one popped up, I was like, ooh, that actually sounds really interesting. So uh, Paige managed to have it. So I'm going to read it for her, because I believe you haven't read it yet. Yes, I have not read it yet. I'm taking it off your TBR. Aww, thank you. At least something's getting read. Yeah, all of mine are like most anticipated newly acquired <laughs> books. We um, I don't venture into my back room, which has my big bookcase on it, too frequently. I'm gonna have to start reading some books from out there. Yeah. Oh my god, stay tuned. We will be doing not safe for workathon TBRs later in just before the readathon starts on the 14th so keep your eyes open for those i'm very excited to talk through the books that i have i do have quite a little selection stacked for um not safe for work and fun so i'm just gonna try and fit those ones into it <laughs> <laughs> so these are the books on twister chooses at our tbr um twister was a lot kinder to me than it was to ash this month <laughs> Um, I could read his stack in a month, so I don't know. I think it's going to be a little bit of a struggle for you because there's still the historical fiction, yeah. but I think we'll be okay. We'll make it work. Yeah. And like, for me, the punishment still exists. If I don't finish these select uh, five books, then I have to go on a book buying ban. None of my friends or family can buy me books, but we haven't got to that point yet. Stay tuned for the November wrap-up to see if that's actually happened. We'll see how we go. <laughs> 
And don't forget to use my code PAGE10 at the Bookish Bean Co to get 10% off your order. Alyssa makes wonderful candles, bookmarks, as well as other fandom little goodies and book sleeves, and I just absolutely adore it. How are you finding her candles? Oh, candles are delicious, and the little magnetic bookmarks are so cute. Yeah, you're uh, using one, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I'm using the little Aragorn one. <laughs> it's so, it's so cute. So we have another endorser as well. So, uh, let me know in the comments below what's one of your most anticipated releases that you want to get to in the month of December. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of this mess and occasionally this mess, feel free to subscribe. And we'll hopefully see you in our next video. Bye! Bye.